Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So sex scenes in movies are usually fake. After all, you'll find it very hard to find actors who are willing to have unsimulated sex on screen. But that doesn't mean it hasn't ever happened before. So in this list, I'll be showing you five actors who actually did it on screen. Number five, Robert Pattinson. In the 2009 film Little Ashes, Robert Pattinson placed the role of Spanish painter Salvador Dali. The film required a scene where Robert had to pretend to masturbate whilst looking in the mirror. While they obviously don't show anything explicit, it's all about the facial expressions to hint at what's going on. Director Paul Morrison was not happy when Pattinson was just pretending. For him, it just didn't look authentic enough and had the scene reshot multiple times. Finally, Pattinson gave in and decided to actually masturbate and climax on camera. This made the scene look a hell of a lot more real because, well, it was. Number 4. Lauren Lee Smith and Eric Balfour in the 2005 film Lie With Me, well-known actors Lauren Lee Smith and Eric Balfour had some steamy sex scenes. While usually these type of scenes would be faked by either using body doubles or not happening at all, in this film they looked a bit too realistic. That's because they were. The film centers around a sexually aggressive young woman who meets an equally sexually aggressive young man. They quickly have an affair together which means this film is packed full of sex scenes. There are numerous scenes which have real masturbation, oral sex and full penetration. Nothing is left to the viewer's imagination. Essentially, the sex scenes can be classed as artistic porn. The film was met with mostly bad reviews and has a 38% rotten rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. Shia LaBeouf by far one of the most sexually explicit films is Nymphomaniac. Even just hearing the title, it's pretty obvious this film won't be PG. It stars quite a few big names, such as Shia LaBeouf, Jamie Bell, Christian Slater, Uma Thurman, Willem Dafoe and more. While there is a lot of sex in this movie, most of it is fake. In fact, it's said that they used porn doubles and prosthetic private parts to create the sex scenes. While that's the official story, there are inside rumours that claim Shia LaBeouf scenes are very real. They certainly look real and Shire is no stranger to pushing the boundaries. Even if they aren't real, the film does still contain real sex using body doubles. Number 2. Chloe Sevigny in the 2003 film The Brown Bunny, there's a four minute scene that shocked audiences. Chloe Sevigny is a big Hollywood actress, so to see her given a blowjob to completion in the film is quite a shock. Her co-star is Vincent Gallo, who also happens to be the director and wrote the script. In fact, it's said Vincent Gallo was obsessed with Chloe and wrote the script, especially the oral sex scenes with her in mind. The scene is basically just four minutes of porn, with no interruptions, no artistic merit, just a camera and oral sex. When the film came out, it did hurt Chloe's career. After all, sex scenes in movies are meant to be handled in a classy and artistic way. But there's no doubt this scene was essentially just porn. Number 1. Mick Jagger Rock legend Mick Jagger had real sex with co-star Anita Pallenberg in the 1970 British crime film Performance. I guess it's not that shocking coming from a rock star in the 70s. After all, I'm sure Mick Jagger has done plenty more crazy stuff during his career. However, what is probably more shocking is that Anita Pallenberg wasn't single at the time. She was in fact Mick Jagger's bandmate's girlfriend. Now that's a situation I'm sure nobody would want to be in. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up as it does help me out loads. Also leave a comment below of what kind of list videos you'd like to see next. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram, all my links should be on screen and in the description below. But once again guys, thank you for watching and until next time, feed your mind.